We are given that the angles of the triangle are in the ratio of 4 is to 1 is to 1. Therefore, let's assume that the angles of this triangle are 4k, k and k respectively. Now, the sum of the angles of the triangle is equal to pi. Therefore, 4k plus k plus k is equal to pi, which implies that k is equal to pi upon 6. Therefore, the angles of the triangle are 4 pi upon 6, pi upon 6 and pi upon 6 or 2 pi upon 3, pi upon 6 and pi upon 6. Now, let's draw out this triangle. Let's label the vertices as A, B and C. Let's assume that angles B and C are pi upon 6. And therefore, angle A is equal to 2 pi upon 3. Since angle B is equal to angle C, therefore the sides opposite to them, AB and AC, are equal. If we drop a perpendicular from the vertex A onto the side BC, let's label it AD. This perpendicular will bisect angle A. And AD will also bisect the side BC. Let's assume that the length of side AB is equal to x, therefore length of side AC is also equal to x. And in triangle ABD, which is a right angle triangle, the length of side BD is equal to x times cos of pi upon 6, which is equal to x times root 3 upon 2. Now since D is the midpoint of BC, therefore CD is equal to BD, therefore the length of side BC is equal to 2 times x root 3 upon 2, which is equal to x root 3. Now, the longest side of this triangle ABC is the one that is opposite to the largest angle, which is A. Therefore, the longest side is equal to BC, which is x root 3. The perimeter of triangle ABC is equal to x plus x plus x root 3, which is equal to x times 2 plus root 3. Therefore, the ratio of the longest side of this triangle to the perimeter is equal to x root 3 divided by x times 2 plus root 3, x cancels and so the required ratio is root 3 upon 2 plus root 3.